Hi, I'm Greg from Premiala, and today we're going to be testing these. Now, these are not barbecue skewers, they're not chopsticks. These are, in fact, some samples of material we've got from a supplier for a new product we're going to be releasing fairly soon. Now, I'm not going to tell you what this product is, you'll find out in due time, but what we're going to be doing with this material is giving it a torture test because we want to work out what the best material for this product is. Let's go and take a look. So we've got five different types of material here. The first one is mild steel, which has been hot dipped galvanised. Now we wouldn't normally consider using anything that's not stainless steel for our products, but this is what pretty well all of our future competitors use. So the people that are making a similar product at the moment, they pretty well all use mild steel that's been hot dipped galvanised. So we wanted to see how this type of material was going to hold up as our baseline. If they're all using it, is it the sort of thing that we can use as well? Or is there good reason for us to go up to a higher standard? So the next one we have is stainless steel, which is 410 grade stainless steel. Now this is a relatively cheap stainless steel, often used for nuts and bolts. It's certainly normally a lot better than, uh, than galvanising. Um, it's sometimes known as 13-0 stainless steel because it uses around 13% chromium and pretty much no nickel in it. The next material we've got here is 430 stainless steel otherwise known as 18-0. It's similar to 410, except that it has about 18% chromium, and so it's got greater corrosion resistance. Next up we have 201, otherwise known as 18-4 stainless steel, and the higher nickel content here further increases the corrosion resistance. And finally, we have my all-time favourite, 304 stainless steel, otherwise known as 18-8 or 18-10. And that's again because of the, uh, the chromium and nickel content in there. It's highly corrosion resistant, and it's rated by the FDA as a food safe material. What I'm going to do now is get some sandpaper and just scratch the, uh, the surface on the end of each one of these rods because that way that will then um, provide some areas where corrosion and rust could start so if you get it chipped or dented or something like that. Um, particularly in the case of the galvanised, it's obviously going to take off the galvanising and it will show us how resistant to corrosion the base metal is. Well, a bit of a change of plans. We've done all of our tests and what we actually found is by the time we put all these tests together in a video, it was going to be about a 40 minute video. Now, we didn't imagine anyone's going to sit there and watch us testing samples of steel for 40 minutes. So what we're going to do is just quickly condense all of those tests into a few minutes. I'm just going to talk through what we've actually done, just to explain to you what all the different tests are about. So the first test we did was we took all of these samples and left them outside overnight which gave them a spray with some water as well. This was simulating, imagining taking this product outside, using it on your barbecue, and accidentally leaving it outside overnight, forgetting to bring it in, and the next morning it's been rained on, or there's been some snow or something like that. So we left them out there, and when we checked the next morning, we found that the, uh, the hot dip galvanised rod had certainly started to show some, a little bit of sign of corrosion just along the bottom. There was a little bit of uh, white appearing across the, the rod as well, across the rest of the rod, where it hadn't been sanded. Um, but there was one patch down the bottom where we started to see a little bit of uh, darkening of the surface as though corrosion was perhaps starting. On the 410 stainless steel, there was also a little bit of evidence of, um, of some uh, damage to the surface, only a very small amount. Um, and the other ones, the 430, the 201 and the 304 were all absolutely fine. The next test we did was an immersion test where we took the ends which we'd sanded off and we left them in a glass of water for 10 hours. And this again will be simulating perhaps after you've used this product, you may accidentally leave it soaking to clean it up or something like that. And so again, we wanted to see how these would survive just going in fresh water for 10 hours. And we found that they generally didn't do too bad. Um, again, the, the galvanised one did show a little bit more sign of degradation. Um, and likewise, the 410, it was starting to get a little bit more splotchy. Um, again, the other three were all okay. We then put it through the dishwasher, we put all the samples through a dishwasher, um, and this was on a long cycle with a hot drying stage as well. And this would obviously be a fairly aggressive type of situation because not only do you have the dishwasher chemicals, you've got all the heat and the moisture just sitting in that moist environment for quite a length of time. Now, this was where we really noticed a big difference. When we took them out of the dishwasher, the, um, the hot dip galvanised one was absolutely covered in corrosion. So the whole length of the rod had all these white spots all over it. The 410 stainless steel also uh, was definitely looking worse for wear. 
Um, there was definitely more uh, splotching and patching on that one. Um, and again, the other three were all looking pretty good. We then did a salt spray test, where we were similar to the dew test. We took them outside, uh, we left them overnight, but this time we sprayed them with a concentrated brine before we did that. And again, the galvanised one was showing some signs of degrading. The 410 stainless steel was now starting to look um, somewhat worse for wear as well. Um, there was a patch, particularly on one side of the 410 rod, where there was uh, some obvious rust that was showing up. It was a, a clear um, brown rust coloured stain that was starting to develop. And the last test we did was we took them all through the dishwasher one more time. And again, as you'd expect, uh, the first two, the galvanised and the 410, were all um, looking quite a lot worse for wear by this point. Um, the other three were pretty good. The 430, there was a couple of spots there where we weren't quite sure whether there might have been something starting. Um, the 201 and the 304 were all looking fine. So there you have it. We've completed our tests. We've taken these materials and given them a real good workout. So just to recap what we've done. First of all, we left them outside overnight on two separate occasions. We actually only showed you one, but we actually did another test at the end of all of our tests and left it outside overnight on a second time. We've also run them through the dishwasher on two separate occasions and that included a hot drying cycle on both times to expose them to the moisture and a lot of heat as well. They had a salt spray test and they also had um, an immersion test where they were put into a cup of water for 10 hours. So what have we found? What's all that testing shown us? Well, we certainly know that we are not going to be using the hot dip galvanised material for our product. This has come up completely covered in white corrosion and that happened after the very first time we exposed it to some moisture outside overnight. Remember the first test we did outside overnight, we started getting corrosion along the bottom of this. And now it's been through the dishwasher and lots of other processes, it's completely covered with corrosion. This is not what we'll be happy with and it's not what you'd be happy with either. So that's out. We're not going to be using that one. We're also not going to be using the 410 stainless steel either because as you know, this one had rust over it as well. Even though stainless steel means it stains less, we still wouldn't be happy with a product that gets rust on it. When you want a product that's stainless steel, you don't expect it to start rusting. So the 410 is out as well. So our decision then is going to come down to the 430, the 201 or the 304. And exactly what we decide and what the product is that this is going to go into, you're just going to have to wait and find out. But hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of the sort of testing we here at Premiala do to make sure that the products we bring to you are the quality that we expect and that you deserve. Have a great day.